Whether you've got an oily T-zone or if you're just oily everywhere, you've probably wondered why your skin produces so much of nature's highlighter. A shiny face can actually be explained by science. Sebum is a technical name for our skin's oil, and it's a blend of fats and dead cells secreted from our glands in your dermis, or skin called sebaceous glands. We have these glands all over our bodies, with the exception of our palms and our hands and the soles of our feet. In our forehead, nose, and chin, yep, the T-zone, our glands are able to produce the most sebum, and those of us with blotting powder on standby know this all too well. Now, we do need sebum to help lubricate our skin and preserve its acid mantle, a protective, acidic layer on the dermis. Without it, our cells become compromised, allowing for skin irritation and dehydration. You may think that you get oily because your skin is actually dehydrated, and that's your body's way of trying to compensate. However, many dermatologists say that dehydration does not necessarily lead to an oily face, and that there are more probable causes for sebum overload. In other words, your skin most likely isn't just oily because you're not drinking enough water. Several factors, both internal and external, can make your sebaceous glands produce more oil than you might like. First up is genetics. The size and concentration of our sebaceous glands is more or less inherited. So, if you find yourself having to buy blotting papers in bulk, feel free to add that to the list of things you can blame on your parents. <laughs> Hormones are another factor. Testosterone in the bloodstream gets converted into the more potent dihydrotestosterone. That's in our skin. Too much dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, leaves you with an overproduction of sebum. When our sebaceous glands are working overtime, not only do we look maybe a touch too glowy, but the excess oil feeds the bacteria on the surface of our skin, which can cause a bacterial overgrowth, putting us at risk for breakouts. Both sexes produce DHT, menstrual cycles, pregnancy, hair loss medications, birth control, polycystic ovary syndrome known as PCOS, along with other health conditions, medications, and even nutritional supplements that can all affect our levels of DHT. That's why it's fairly common for women to experience breakouts before menstruation. DHT levels rise potentially triggering an overproduction of sebum, accompanied by a rise in progesterone, causing the skin to swell, compressing the pores and trapping the sebum beneath the surface. Next thing you know, bingo, breakout. We also can't forget about diet. When we consume dairy, for example, more than 60 hormone levels rise as a result, including our old friend, testosterone and progesterone, putting you at risk for excess oil and acne. So if you're dealing with oily skin, step away from the milkshake. High glycemic foods are foods that cause a rapid rise in blood sugar, also correlate with a surplus of sebum production. In some people, high levels of sugar in the blood cause a pancreas to secrete high levels of insulin. Too much insulin in the blood leads to a rise of DHT in the skin, and yep, oily face again. Similarly, certain vegetable oils, like canola oil, also have been shown to hinder insulin regulation. So it may not be your best ally in controlling your skin's sebum production. Cortisol, the stress hormone, is another hormone that needs to be kept in check. If you're stressed out, the excess cortisol can increase sebum production. So if you're breaking out from oil overload, try not to let it make you even more stressed out because it definitely won't help. On top of everything going on inside, your sebum levels can also be affected by whatever is going on outside, literally. Rain, heat, sweat, and humidity can also increase your skin's oiliness. Regardless of skin type, it's also important to choose products that are non-comedogenic, meaning that they won't clog pores. Clogged pores will impede your skin's ability to regulate the flow of sebum from your glands properly, which can put you on the fast track for shiny skin. And don't forget to change your bed sheets often, at least once a week. An overgrowth of dirt and fungi on your sheets can also help disturb the acid mantle, so keep them clean and stick to natural fibers like cotton to help regulate oil production and reduce the likelihood of irritation. The oiliness of your skin is a result of a delicate balance of hormonal activity affected by your genetics, diet, and environment. And while it may be annoying to have to blot your T-zone throughout the day, it's just a part of skin's function, and it's no one's fault except maybe your parents.